Hey guys, it's Faye from Face World Media. One thing I realize about this channel is that I love creating videos, create helpful tutorials for AI and tech, but there's one thing that's very challenging that's not just for me, but for all video storytellers is video editing. And on top of that, as you wanna grow the channel, you tend to want to make it more intimate, more personalized. So it's about you and your content. It should be on brand. And that's when we need to introduce private stock. Most of you are not new to private stock. Basically, if you run a product company, maybe these are your um, product images and videos. And for me, as the main creator of this channel, I want B-roll that reflects my life, maybe me editing a video or walking outside my home or hang out with my friends, you know, or holding face world mug, for example, that is on brand for me. Unfortunately, capturing the footage is not really the hard part, but organizing them and picking and choosing them for the right segments of your video, that is really key. So luckily, I've been introduced to Visla AI, and thank you, Visla, for sponsoring this video, that I get to experiment what AI can do to enhance our private stock and make the organization and insertion and usage that much easier. So I'm going to do a little experiment today to show you how private stock with its AI features work inside of Visla. One thing I have to say that I'm not really the product expert yet. I would like to become one. So as I'm walking you through, consider that I'm like a friend instead of an, an expert. I'm going to show you on the screen right now what I can do with Visla AI and specifically how I edit, transform my editing process with private stock. First of all, I recorded, as you can see, several clips for me to see the orientation. All I did was to use a video recording like so, and I can choose the camera and microphone of my choice. What I want to do now is actually combine these two clips that I recorded. It's super simple. Hit merge, and here we are. Now I can confirm the total length when it's merged, so let's do that. As you can see, there's a new video clip being connected. Next, I want to show you my stock. There's a lot of them, by the way, and uh, my producer Herman and I recorded this from a couple of years ago. Uh, as you can see, all I did was to basically upload these clips, right? You can see audio interface plugging in, house walking on the first floor, family and friends. Look at this. So if I click into it right now, you can see that the clip itself can be any length. And it says close up of the face world mug on a kitchen countertop. You don't have to type any of this manually. Face world, kitchen, all these tags are added. I'm really impressed, by the way, that it actually got all the uh, spellings right. Now let's look into this camera adjustment. So this little, um, this short private stock, again, you can watch it. There's sound of it as well, but you don't have to apply sounds because everything is identified through the visuals. Uh, attentive person adjusting. It's a Sony camera. Look at all the details that actually got picked up. So under projects, this is where I like to organize all the videos I create with Visla. And what I recommend is that you click on create video and then you'll be taken to the website right here, which is under Visla app. And here you can start your video with idea text or even a web page. So recently I wrote an article on phase world called Visla private stock, which is our go to AI video creation. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of me recording everything all over again, I'm going to use Visla's AI content creation engine to actually create a video using simply my web page. So let me go ahead and, and show you what it looks like. For now, let's generate video. Now there's a drop down as you can see. You can basically use B-roll from their free stock, which are all quite good. They have premium stock from Getty stock and story blocks. They also have uh, private stock from MySpace. Now Visla AI is going to process this. You can see the process it's going through. Okay, so I'm recording directly using my computer's uh, microphone just because I want you to be able to hear and see what's been generated by Visla AI. And by the way, I want to show you how my private footage was integrated. The video is pretty short. As you can see, it's about a minute and 45 seconds. And from there, you can certainly expand and you know create additional clips and merge them using Visla if you need to. Each one of the scenes can be edited individually. And for each scene, you also have control over, you can re-record, for example, you can uh, record voiceover, or you can generate AI voice or remove voiceover altogether. Uh, you can add text, you can scale it, crop it, key burn, whatever you wanna do. But let's have a listen first. Welcome to a journey into the future of video content creation with Visla Private Stock, the AI powered platform transforming the 
So in this case, it's using my thumbnail from my blog post. By the way, everything is done through my blog post. Let's go to the next scene. Imagine a tool that not only organizes your media, but also seamlessly integrates with an advanced video creation engine. It actually picked up my private stock recorded inside a uh, Visla. So as you can see my cursor moving around and really showcasing what it looks like, what private stock looks like and how I go about creating a video. So let's go to scene three. In today's fast paced digital world, efficiency and quality. Now this is basically a display and scroll through the image as you could see in my blog. Say goodbye to generic stock footage and embrace authenticity, relevance, and engagement. So this is me showcasing a screenshot of Visla. I kind of like this because a lot of the times when I do screen recordings, I ended up showing the websites, um, basically the brand's website, features, pricing, um, that sort of things. And it's good that it actually got picked up. Do I want to move things around? Maybe. All right, let's see scene five. Visla private stock empowers you with AI driven tagging. That is something I may swap out. This is an image from my website. I, even though it does mention AI, I don't think it's necessarily relevant for this. I can swap out the scene a few ways. I can clear the B-roll altogether. I can choose B-roll recommendation, delete the scene, or I can even split it. So let's take a look at B-roll recommendation. I can see that this is showcasing my stock imagery. So I would actually prefer that. Now it's gonna generate it again. All right, let's take a look at scene six. Imagine uploading your footage and having smart tags like product demo or customer testimonial automatically generated. Cool. I like that. And scene seven. This means less time spent on organization and more on creativity. That's cool. So it did pick up the fact that in this B-roll, I was editing my video. So you probably get a good handle of this. But at this point, uh, I do want to mention that if you prefer to use your own voice, you can certainly do that. So let's explore record voiceover. So when I do that, um, I simply allow basically the web browser to access my microphone, sure. You also have the option to switch to another AI voice. Vizsla is an all-in-one video. You can preview that. And by the way, if you are familiar with Eleven Labs, for example, you wanna train your own AI voice, you can do that. I'm gonna link in the description below on my previous videos and how you go about getting started using tools like Eleven Labs. Once you're done on the left-hand side, you can click on audio and you can upload voiceover for all. If you don't like the results, you can always hit regenerate to get something entirely different. I wanna talk about why I even decided to learn Visla AI in the first place. So previously on this channel, we did a general video to talk about Visla AI, which is an all-in-one video AI platform. So what it means is that you can use it to record your video, whether it's sitting in front of the camera like I'm doing right now. You can also edit your video, meaning importing the video somewhere else or simply use what you have recorded with Visla and edit directly inside the same app. You can also record your screen for tutorials like a lot of them uh, I've done on this channel. So for example, you can simply insert an idea like how do I become a creator in 2025? And then Visla is going to generate the full script with B-roll, free or premium, and create a whole entire video for you. You can make changes, of course, and edit directly using the same tool, or you can actually upload your voiceover, just you talking and thinking about an idea, and then Visla is going to put together that video for you. Now, remember here we're talking about private stock. To make a video less generic, it really is very helpful when you use your own private stock. Thank you so much for watching my experimentation. Now you're at the end of the video. I want to talk to you about something really important, which is about how to prepare your private stock and make sure they're high quality and engaging to begin with. Okay, what's so special about Visla AI, and this really caught my eyes, and this is why I call it one of my favorite features, is that you can shoot these segments of B-roll, like 15 seconds here, 30 seconds there, and have a whole library of it. You can import all of them into Visla, and its AI feature is going to automatically tag all these segments and organize them. Now, in addition to AI tags, you can also manually update something on your own. For example, if your product ABC needs a special tag such as product demo for ABC or certain feature, you can actually add that to your private stock library inside of Visla. Remember, AI itself is not magic. It's only assistant to what you're doing. So the more information and context you can give to it, the better it's going to be and the better end result you're going to receive. So I'm so glad you watched this. I hope you find it interesting. Now, I want to talk to you about how to shoot high quality private stock images and videos. 
I don't believe it's a good idea to start randomly uploading 60 hours of footage just because you have them. Instead, select the ones that you think are on brand and high quality because you don't want to see segments that you wouldn't be satisfied with in the final production. It's also a good idea to organize and leverage the footage that you really like and then along the way, add new ones to it. Because nobody's going to have all the perfect, all the necessary private stock in one shot or in on one day. So I recommend that you take it an iterative and progressive approach when it comes to creating and organizing your private stock with the help of Visla AI. By the way, I've included my setup in the description. And of course, right now on the screen, you're going to see a link that directs you to try Visla for free. I would love to know your favorite feature for Visla and what you might struggle with. And together we can learn how to use these AI tools to make content creation easier, particularly when it comes to video ideation and video editing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really want to transform who I am as a creator, as well as this very channel in 2025, and to bring more authentic, just-in-time videos for you guys. AI as a landscape is ever-changing, and I want to show you more about how to create, organize, and share your content with ease. I really hope more creators will join in as a result of this, and I'm going to see you on the other side and see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.